What are the biggest challenges for deploying bare metal OpenShift clusters? It is logging in to each server to configure your RAID disk and your network configuration and your boot orders. And then you still have to connect to the KVM console, you have to mount your installation ISO and then boot from there on each server in your cluster. Now imagine if you have to do that on a cluster with 20 nodes or more. I'm going to show you three amazing features within Cisco Intersight that will take away all of these obstacles and will do a fully automated zero touch deployment that will save you valuable time and provide you with consistent bare metal OpenShift clusters. And I will do it without any on-premise management software. In order to make that possible, we're going to use OpenShift's assisted installer. And there have been many ways for deploying OpenShift clusters, but the assisted installer has to be the most convenient one of them all. It comes as a service hosted on the hybrid cloud console, console.redhat.com. It works by generating a custom discovery ISO for your cluster. And when you boot your service from that cluster, they will call home and the assisted installer, after doing a bunch of validations, will then continue the installation. With the assisted installer, Red Hat has automated everything they could for creating OpenShift clusters. But you still need to boot your servers from that discovery ISO. Now, that's when Intersight comes to the rescue. The first feature I want to talk about that is making this easier is the device connector. This allows you to claim your server into Intersight using a secure outgoing HTTPS connection. That means you don't need to punch any holes in your firewall. Now you can manage all your servers from the edge to the data center or even the ones in that, those difficult to reach DMZ networks directly from Intersight. You can connect to the KVM, you can mount your ISO or you can reboot your servers all from one platform including some pretty cool bulk operations that allow you to reboot multiple servers with just one click. Now having all of these servers available in one platform to do these operations is already truly valuable. But the second feature I absolutely love is how we do these operations, which is by using server profiles. So do you remember that RAID disk that we need to configure or the VLAN? Instead of going into each server and configuring those from Intersight, you can now create a server profile template that holds that configuration and you can deploy it to all servers with just one click. The server profile settings are stored inside policies and policies can be used by multiple profiles. So that means if I ever need to change, for example, a DNS server, all I have to do is change that one policy and all the server profiles which are using it will now have pending changes that can be deployed to them again with just one click. Making not only day zero operations easier, but also your day two operations. With the device connector and the server profiles, Intersight has already taken away so many operational costs, but there are still some clicking involved. Now the third and last feature that brings this entire solution together is the Intersight Orchestrator. This allows us to automate all the steps that I mentioned before, plus the assisted installer from OpenShift. It is able to do SaaS to SaaS API calls and it will create that OpenShift cluster on your Red Hat console. It will grab the custom ISO that has been generated and it will boot your servers from that ISO after they're fully booted, they will show up in the assisted installer, the workflow will continue and the OpenShift installation will start. Now the entire process is fully automated by combining the powers of Cisco Intersight for server management and OpenShift for deploying your container platform, creating a zero touch provisioning workflow for your bare metal clusters. Now, if you're a customer or a partner that is considering to create a managed service please check out my workflow and adopt it to create your own managed service. I've provided a link to my GitHub repository in the description. And if you have any questions, please reach out to me on LinkedIn, GitHub or Twitter.